Greetings and salutations. Having uh, some major technical difficulties here at the uh, Crooked Nail Ranch. Currently trying to upload a movie. And, uh, oh, it's my friend Martin. Um, uploading on my cell phone at 1.65 Mbps, which you may think is relatively slow, and I would tend to agree, except that it's about uh, two and a half times faster than my upload speed on my internet. That isn't working currently. That isn't working currently. That isn't working currently. And I'm not very pleased about it. In fact, I'm thinking of going to uh, Fiber, which I need to look into today. So let me share with you my experience with Suddenlink, who's my current internet provider. Suddenlink is a cable internet provider. So we have, um, a, we have cable access on a, on a property behind us. Comes into our master, goes into a, a modem, modem goes into a router, and we transmit wirelessly throughout the house. To date, it's been the best internet that we've had since we moved here, which isn't saying much because the internet out here sucks. But this is like probably the sixth different provider that we've used since we moved here six, seven years ago now, almost seven years ago. And it's been up until September, it's been the most consistent in terms of reliability. Now over the, uh, was it Labor Day? Yeah, over the Labor Day weekend, they shut the internet off to do upgrades on a weekend when everybody was home they decided to do upgrades well now when I hear when we're gonna do upgrades that says to me that it's gonna improve my user experience and an exact opposite has occurred the reliability of this service has gone into the shitter where it's resided since the upgrades were done when I up, when I upload a video, I'll, I'll I'll film in the morning and early afternoon. I'll edit in the afternoon. And I'll upload while I'm sleeping. So before I go to bed, I'll click upload and I'll and I'll go to bed. And I wake up in the morning, and the big question, you know, the the first question that has to be answered when I wake up in the morning is, are there any Legos on the floor between me and the bathroom? And the second question is, did the video upload? And I'll come out here and check. And about 40% of the time. It didn't, which means now I got to re-upload again, but now it's daytime and people are up using the internet. So it gets worse. My speeds get worse. Typically my upload speeds are somewhere around 0.4 or lower, which is pretty slow. Well, last night during prime time, uh, we're, we're purchasing 20 MBBPS, uh, Pro, uh, package that we have through them and you know usually it's it's never it's never that good but usually it's around 17 18 and uh, good download speeds but last night my video was coming across at 144 and 200 and whatever P so basically dial up resolution it was terrible it couldn't even operate at those low resolutions it kept stopping and buffering and stopping and buffering and you know it was terrible i know first world problems right well as a society we rely heavily on the internet and it's an important part of our our day-to-day -day. and especially as a youtube creator I want to talk on myself that as a as a content creator I upload videos that, and, and lately I've been trying to do that daily and this service has not been able to provide that kind of reliability where I can upload every day I've been trying to upload for two days now and I haven't been able to do it forget trying to upload during the day it ain't gonna happen I'm not, I'm trying to upload over my phone right now and this is attempt two. so it's anybody's guess um, if this is going to work or not. And at some point, I'm going to exceed the, the data, my cellular data rate, and they're going to throttle me back anyway, and then I won't be able to do jack. So this morning, I call, I call customer service. 
And right away I realized I'm not talking to somebody in my community. I'm not talking to somebody that uh, is even in my country. I'm talking to somebody on a totally different continent. And he's over there stabbing buttons and trying to you know, communicate with my router or to commu commu communicate with my, my modem. And he runs a bunch of tests on his end and he can't do anything. And he wants to send out a tech tomorrow. I'm like, and, and, and I'm, at the same time, I'm trying to get three kids ready for school. And I'm frustrated because I need this to work and it's not. And I got a little bit upset with him. And this guy did not give two shits whether or not I was a satisfied customer. He didn't care. Yeah, I told him, I, he says, I can get somebody out there between 11 and four tomorrow. Unacceptable. Yeah, you're, you're gonna, I'm gonna be without internet for two days. Does that mean you're gonna take two days worth of internet charges off my bill? I doubt it. They still want me to pay the full bill. So I told him, no, that's not acceptable. You need to get somebody out here too sweet. And he said to me, What do you want me to do? Get my tools and come to your house? <laughs> wasn't the right thing to say. Not when I was in that frame of mind, it wasn't the right thing to say. So I told him, yeah, when can you be here? And then he started getting a little lippy with me and said, look, I'm trying to help you on my end. In his, you know, Indian accent. Look, I'm trying to help you on my end. What do you want me to do? I can't help you. So I want you to get some of the out here. I cannot do that. 8.01 p.m. I'm sitting here in edit and I realize I forgot probably the most awesome part of this whole story so after he offered to come over and fix the cable himself um, I asked him where he was calling from and he said well I really don't see why that's important and I tried to impart onto him how I felt it was important that I know who I'm talking to whether he's a member of my community or even a member of my country and then I asked him his name. He said his name was Mike. And I said, Mike what? And he said, Mike Smith. And I said, bullshit. Your name's Mike Smith. My name's Muhammad Ali. And it just deteriorated from there. I was born on a Wednesday, but it wasn't last Wednesday back to this morning and he started freaking yelling at me and then like finally I said F you F you sideways with a two by four and I hung up on him I try very hard on a daily basis to not be but sometimes people push me to the point where I can't help but being a dick it's my nature So I dropped a couple of F-bombs and I don't apologize because I'm a paying customer. We pay handsomely for that service and there's, there's just a few things in this world that I just cannot stand and that's liars, thieves, cheats and the other last thing I can't have, just cannot accept are things that don't work as advertised. We're paying for a service. I expect to get the service I'm paying for. And if I'm not getting that service, then I should be compensated for it. IMO. What do you think? And are any of my viewers suddenly customers and are you happy with their service? Comment in the comment section. Also, if you have fiber optic, tell me how your experience is with fiber optic. I surely would like to know. Because I'm thinking of going that route. If it's available in my area. Oh, so, that's all I got. So, click the sub button. Click the uh, bell icon right next to it. So, you're notified of future uploads. And like, share, all that happy hoo-ha. Until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot, shake, keep powder dry, and have a splendid day. Thanks for listening to me rant, and I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye.
whether or not I was satisfied, whether or not I was satisfied. Uh. Also, if you have fiber optic, tell me. Click the subscribe button if you don't mind, and the little bell icon next to it, so you can so you can be you know shit. Bad, I can't talk.